Hello everyone and welcome back to the Miser's Guide to Ebony. In today's recurring events video, I'm going to be talking about the Huns Invasion. Now the Huns Invasion was actually released over a year ago initially, um, and it was very much the same. They took it down because there were some glitches and some things that they wanted to work on. Um, and they've just released it a couple days ago. And uh, really it's very much the same as it was before. There's a couple slight differences and yes, there are still some glitches. <laughs> Isn't that the way it is? Uh, but I can still do a little bit of an update video on what is going on with Hunt's Invasion, just talk about some general stuff. So I have a video playing in the background here that I can use as a reference where I just joined some random Nightmare team just to get some gameplay uh, to watch to see kind of how people are playing it. Um, and, you know, I've done I've done with uh, my Alliance and some friends and so on, some Hell, and it, it's it's really really about the same as what it was. There are some differences that I will talk about. Uh, but first, as a general overview, the Huns Invasion is basically a battlefield, unlike the other battlefields, where you go from stage to stage and you rally a non-player character. You're not playing against other players, you're playing with other players to rally a non-player character. So a barbarian, city or a Hun city or whatever you want to call it, you're basically going to be rallying in a, a city that increases in difficulty. So there are five different modes that you can go with. There's uh we'll see them right away. Um, there's easy, nightmare, hard. I forget the ones in the middle. I, I, I didn't look very hard on those ones. I'm going to maybe scroll back on this video because I saw it a second ago. Easy, normal, hard, nightmare, and hell. And I'm just going to pause right here to point out a few things. Um, if you look, there are stage clear rewards that increase for if you uh, clear it all the way, these are the number of flags that you're going to be guaranteed. Um, it also tells you some level, but that I don't, I don't know how important that is. Uh, we know just from the name that it's increasing in difficulty. Um, one thing I really don't like about the way that they set up the Hunt Invasion is uh, they say lowest and then they give a number. Uh, and what they're basically saying there is you will not be allowed to queue for these uh, specific difficulties unless you are that size. So there's 500, 2 million, 18 million, 70 million, 270 million. Now, the truth behind that is even though you are possibly large enough in power to queue, you are not powerful enough to queue. So if I go through the hell, and the reason this is the reason I didn't want to match in hell. Uh, if I go through hell and I'm doing the match system, then what will often happen is I'll have a lot of people that are barely 270 million. And they've reached that in power, but they are not strong enough to get through even a couple of rounds of uh, of hell, so it's just a waste of time. And if if I if there are a lot of players like that that are just wanting to be carried, then it just makes it so it's impossible to get there because it is a, a team uh, a team battlefield, and you need to get to the end as a team. So if you are not with players, if you are lower, like two hundred seventy million or three hundred million, and you don't have the most incredible buffs that I've ever seen, you probably don't belong there. Uh, even me, a lot of times, I'll just go into Nightmare just because it, it's easy to get through. It's I, I can get through Hell. I definitely have enough power and the buffs and so on to get through Hell. But I'm also, I also recognize that even though I'm 4.3 billion power right now, I am not as powerful in terms of buffs and so on as some players that are two or three, just because I spend zero on the game and I don't want, and I, I don't have the new gear and so on. I recognize that I'm not as strong. So sometimes if I don't have uh, a couple of uh, players in my alliance or, or there's not a good match in the matchmaking, I just won't join the game. Um, I'll move on to Nightmare and just make sure I get it done because Nightmare I can roll through very easy. And you should really consider the same too. The uh, rewards between all of them are not so significant that it's uh, going to justify spending hours failing. 
Um, so, and you only get like one, what, three chances a day to get it done. It says challenge chances for today at the top, you get three chances. So if you go through hell and you only get halfway through, it's not going to be as effective as if you went all the way through nightmare. All right. So take that consideration. All right. I'm going to scroll forward here. So this is me matching just with random people. And some other things that I can talk. Oh, I'm going to actually go back. I, a lot of people missed this and uh, I kind of went through it real quick at the beginning. There are now ranking rewards. So based on the number of contribution points that you get uh, in the battlefield, you will earn a ranking. And for 99% of people, that means absolutely nothing because the ranking of uh, the ranking plate to get placed in the top 100 is not going to be anyone outside of the top players that are always getting extra rewards anyway. Um, but it is something to know. And uh, the points are based off of your contribution score. Um, and you can gain contribution score by uh, getting more kills in the barbarian cities. So that's just really by having better troops than everybody else, better buffs and so on, and choosing the right troops. But also there are now going to be these little uh, army troops that spawn around that you can continuously rally and uh, they do replenish. You can get points that way. Um, so that is one source of rewards. But the ones for most players are if you look at the stage clear rewards, let's say you uh, go through hell, nightmare and normal. Each time you go through one of them, it will unlock all of these rewards. And you'll see that they'll be collected right here for hell. Uh, but once they are collected, you can no longer collect them that round. So uh, this is because I completed hell the day before. And uh, that means if I do hell again, I'm not going to get these rewards. Not that they're significant rewards, but um, it is another reason for choosing different difficulties, just getting them done. Plus, you can go uh, get some fame points and so on by completing the lower difficulties. Um, there's also a shop. It went through there real quick right here. There's a shop with uh, some extra rewards that you can get. Uh, there's a limited quantity to each of them, so you can only buy each reward a few times. Like I think there was like two or three staminas, which is shameful, absolutely shameful. Um, some of these things need higher quantity amounts. Like I need more runestone chests. How, how, how come I can only get like a hundred or, or 200 of those? I mean, I need a way more than that to do anything in this game. So I really hope that they look at those numbers again. Um, but yes, you can use your flags to purchase items in the shop that you might want. Um, and the last thing I'll talk about before we talk about forming a team is there was at the very beginning, this thing right, right here at the top there, it looks like plus 0% and, uh, you know, like a little sword, you can spend gems to increase your power before you even start in. So right here, it says I could buy, uh, an increase for 5,000. You can actually, uh, increase that further. I don't think I did in this video, but you can you can actually choose to scale that up and increase it uh, to like 40% or 80%. I don't really know how high it goes because it's not something that I will do. Um, but just know that you can. You can go in with increased buffs um, and that is uh, something to know. I think that's not, that wasn't there before, but I could be wrong. Oops. All right. So let me just scroll through here briefly. We are right here. We're at match setting up. So there are a couple of different ways you can form a team. The first way is you can create a team like I just did. <coughs> create a team and you can click these plus signs to invite people from your friends list, from your alliance. Um, and then they would have to accept. And if they do accept, they have to click prepare and so on. And otherwise it'll, there's a timer, it'll kick everybody out or whoever's not prepared. So it's kind of an, a little annoying system, but I really love the fact that you can play with people, not just in your alliance, but also on your friends list, uh, which makes it so you can play with players from any server. 
I can play with somebody from uh, server 800 and something if I wanted to. What are they at? A thousand now? Server a thousand? I could technically play with somebody there if, uh, as long as they're not unlocked. I don't know. Uh, just by having them on the friends list. So one thing that I thought would be a great idea is on my Discord, the first time that this uh, hunts thing was set up is I made a channel called Huns Looking for Group because really the matchmaking system sucks um, because of the requirements. So if you want to find people that are uh, good strength or around your strength to set up something, you can use that in Discord and find a group. All right, so I just used random matchmaking because I know that really just by myself, I can accomplish everything in here. Um, it's just nightmare. So can definitely get it done. <clears throat> So what you see here on the video is there's one city, it says level one Huns camp, and there are a bunch of smaller troops that are all around. And you can set rallies on all of these small troops and you can attack early. You don't have to necessarily even, I mean, depending on, on, on where you guys are at and what you're trying to do with points, you could uh, just launch rallies early. There's no cost to launch rallies early in here. You can even set a one minute rally. I mean, I think the, some of these things should exist in the real game, but they exist here. So you can uh, go ahead and rally those. You'll get points for them uh, based on your contribution, how many uh, kills you're trying to get. I was not really trying to rack up my score here. I was just trying to uh, show how it works. Um, people aren't really even joining these rallies anyway. It's just like a couple people. And I think I, there was somebody else that decided to just start rallying the camps, <laughs> which kind of goes uh, to counter whatever I was trying to get done. Uh, but what I would suggest to people that are really trying to rack up their points is do not rally the city until you have to. You have uh, five minutes from the start of each stage to rack up as many points with the raiders, the small groups of troops, and uh, and to get as many of those done as possible. So set up multiple rallies, launch them, wait for uh, new ones to replenish, just keep that rolling. And then when you need to, when you get to uh, the last minute or so, maybe set one on the city, get that filled up and launch that one. Uh, but try to get as many points out of the Huns Raiders as possible first. Now, another thing to note is that when you do complete the Huns camp, so the level one, level two, and so on, when you do complete that one and you are moving on to the next stage, you'll have a very limited amount of time to choose a stage buff. And I'll try to pause uh, at one point where we do get, uh, here we go. So now we move to stage three, for example, and up pops select buff. And if it doesn't pop up, then you'll see there'll be like a blinking thing right here somewhere. Um, and you can click that. It'll pop open the window manually for you. So here you get, I don't know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds to choose a buff or else it will automatically be selected for you. Um, there are buffs like rally capacity. There are heals. It, it's basically the same as battlefields uh, where you have a buff to choose if you got one of the gold marches. Um, you have ones like this like range troop personal 50 percent or you might have team buffs now if you're playing with an actual team and everybody is uh pretty much equal strength or you're going to rely on a lot of other people definitely go for team buffs and increase people's troops um, they might have uh, different troops that they're working on so on but team buffs are going to be more effective than personal buffs in that case uh, if you're in a place where you're heavily outmatching everybody on your team and they're really you're carrying them then probably go with personal buffs um, and if you need to there are heals uh, there are even mercenaries where you can get free troops but I mean if you need extra troops then you're probably in the wrong difficulty uh, to be honest uh, so let's continue here and we'll see if there's some more things we can talk about um, I'm going to go forward to, let me click on one of the cities. I want to click on one of the cities so we can see their troops. This is still just rallying Hun's troops. I think eventually over here, I start doing the rallies for 
the city because the guys, the guy that just wanted to randomly start doing all the cities, his uh, rally size is small. Um, so here we go. Pause. All right. So when you actually click on a Hunt's Camp, uh, this is the level eight Hunt's Camp, you will be able to see the troop allocation. So there are 1.7 million tier 12 ground, 1.1 million tier 12 archers, 288,000 tier 12 cavalry, and 2.9 million uh, tier 12 siege. So that is a consideration. So for a lot of people, uh, I mean, realistically, even in hell, if everybody is sufficiently powered and has... Uh, you know, pretty good buffs and a good rally size. Everyone can just send archers and kill everything. But if you are trying to go for points and you want to increase points, I found that archers are generally not the way to go. And what you would want to do is either uh, focus on ground. If you have good ground, you could uh, choose personal buffs to increase your ground. And you get a lot of points through that because a lot of these uh, hunts camps are are archer heavy so you can get tons and tons of points that way or you could just use uh, the march that counters whatever their big one is so uh, you might want to counter the ground troops here um, and send cavalry or uh, but they do have a lot of archers so keep that in mind or you i would probably send ground at this um, or if you have good siege then you might send siege like it, it's really up to you uh, you could go the counter or you could go straight ground, or you could go straight archer. Uh, just do whatever you, after you experiment, whatever you find is the most successful. It also helps if you are in a team with other players. You could say like, this person is going straight cav all the way through. This person is going straight archer all the way through, and the rest of us go ground. Uh, you could do something like that. And that will uh, increase your odds of being successful if you're in a, a hard difficulty for you. All right, uh, let's see where else. Let's go to the level 10. What does level 10 look like? That's the rally. There we go. What's really neat about the level 10 one is it'll take the highest power player on your server and put their name there like you're defeating them. And what I always want to, uh, to figure out, and I never asked, I never asked like Kranz here, uh, hey, you're number one. What do you see when you come in here? Do you have to kill yourself or do you have to kill the number two player? Like, I'm not not quite sure how it's set up. I'd like to know that. <laughs> that, that, that that's just interesting to me. Uh, but here for the level 10, you can see that they have uh, Martinez. That is the wall general. And they have 2.1 million tier 12. Uh, that, that looks like ground and then 2.1 archers, 1.8 cavalry, 2.3 siege. Um, this one is quite a bit harder, especially in hell mode. Um, I, I, I'm thinking because there's a wall general, but regardless, it, it is more difficult. Um, so you do want to make sure that you are uh, sending a very powerful rally. You're not just rushing it. Yeah, you do your best. You only get one shot. So unlike before in the first version of Huns, you could fail and you could fail and you could fail and you could fail and then you could win and then you'd win. Uh, here, if you fail against this Huns camp, you're kicked out of the game. I don't know if that's intentional, but it's a defeat and you're out of the game. So make sure that you don't screw up and you send the right troops, the right generals, you're prepared and you get that done uh, successfully the first time around or else you're missing out on a lot of points and some rewards and, and so on. Um, that's about all I really wanted to mention here. Um, oh, I guess you can click on the troops themselves and you can check out their stats and, and so on. Um, let's just watch this thing finish and then we can take a look at, uh, oh, what happens here? Yeah, there's some like text and stuff. Uh, I don't know if I've ever even read it once. <laughs> To be honest okay so we got some rewards now uh, remember I've completed hell before so I collected all those rewards I think what I do here is I go back to rewards 
and I collect everything for Nightmare because that's a different difficulty, different rewards, so I can go and claim all of that stuff. Okay, and uh, I didn't show it here, but also keep in mind that you do get fame points for completing each difficulty, and you also get fame points for being number one uh, contributor uh, in terms of points for those. You only get the rewards once, so it's not like it's a rush to get them all done, uh, but you can keep that in mind that you can get fame points that way too. Okay, that's about it for this video. So I do want to say thank you to uh, all the channel members, of course, for supporting the uh, the Master's Guide to Ebony. And if you want to become a member, you can click the join button and get the membership perks and so on. Don't forget, you can also join the Discord and um, and and thank you even for just being a subscriber. Uh, that's about all I have for you in this video. So I will see you in the next one.